up there to get over the Kiwis game uh, during that World Cup but um, yeah, I thought we had a good mindset, we set up our team pretty well in that first half, yeah, we had a few penalties, errors um, but I thought we showed a bit of character, um, a bit of faith in our D which held us in the game so um, pretty proud of the boys but now we've got to step it up and uh, beat the Australian. I think you guys talked about needing to play an 80 minute game but you had moments that, that you couldn't sort of together all the time in the last couple of games. Christian, obviously it was a bit messy at times, probably from both teams, but in terms of being in the game the whole way through and taking those key moments when you had to, uh, what, what was your reaction? Well, look, I thought we were outstanding. I couldn't be proud of the blokes. Um, our defence for 80 minutes was really, really good and they found one try uh, really late in the game after a, a ton of possession and we put ourselves under pressure at different times and probably need to be a little bit more disciplined with the ball and a little bit smarter with the ball at different times. But when you want to defend like that, you give yourself a chance and, and that's exactly what we did. And uh, As I said, I couldn't be proud of the effort. You know, footy's a tough game. It's about wanting to, wanting to turn up and put in effort and play tough and that's exactly what our blokes did. Maybe 17 pairs of hands in that try after the bell at half time. Have you seen a better one at this level? <laughs> um, yeah, look, I don't know. Uh, but. <laughs> You know, neither of our tries in the first half came off any set play or anything pretty, but what they showed is that we were willing to compete and probably compete a little bit harder than the opposition. And um, yeah, that's how you find those types of tries. And um, you know, again, if you want to compete hard and you want to defend well, then you give yourself a real chance. There's a lot of talk about Craig Green coming back after 12 years. Did you feel like you know, your team didn't get as much respect against so much talk about the line? Oh, no, look, they deserve to be spoken about. Um, you know, they're a good footy side and they're going to get better the more, more footy they play together. And I thought that was a real quality game of footy and a real international game of footy. You know, both teams got stuck into each other. Our blokes were really nice and physical and you know, I think we won that little battle and they certainly came back at us though. And uh, you know, we had to be really resilient in that second half and they had a lot of, a lot of possession and a lot of opportunity and we had to be good to hold them out. So as I said, I thought it was a great test match footy. Do the boys feel like they had anything to prove after the nines and the sort of confusion before the series? That was still the team they were. Um, I think more the senior boys. Um, obviously, it was a disappointing nines comp. Um, but I think the senior boys came in. They knew their um, their standards was a bit down, so for them was to come back into the group um, and lift their intensity up. And I thought they played a big role in tonight's game. Um, so. But not just them, you know, I thought everyone played an awesome role as well. You also had a couple of uh, late withdrawals, obviously, uh, but uh, I think one was personal reasons and the other a, a bit of a knock um, to, to, I guess, take that in your stride and, and also still put out a strong performance. Uh, players obviously coming in to step up. Yeah, definitely. Look, um, you know, Katoni obviously had a, a death in the family and, um, you know, unfortunately couldn't play tonight. And um, uh, young Atta had a, a bit of a knock through the week and, uh, we had to make a late change there, so I thought Will Hopawati was outstanding at six, um, and he really complimented Tui well, and you know, Tui deserves a real rap. Um, he's come in really fit, he's come in with some confidence on the back of what he's done in the, the Super League, and uh, I thought he was a really dominant half for us tonight and, and, and had some really big plays, so I said he deserves a real rap. And uh, Also the young kid at the back, Tessie, uh, he's only just turned 18, um, he hasn't played first grade yet. Uh, we only brought him into camp really late because of his performance uh, at the nines and, and basically because all these senior blokes wanted to bring him in because they were impressed with him as a bloke and impressed with him as a player and um, I don't think he came away thinking he'd ever play but uh, he was outstanding tonight and um, you know, he's certainly shown that he's going to play a lot, of, uh, a lot of NRL I think in the very near future and he's going to play a lot more games for us as well. When did you let him know you'd be playing? Uh, he found out uh, Thursday. And, uh, Thursday night. Another of your stand-up players, one of the older guys, Michael Jennings. Some thoughts? Yeah, look, he's a good player. He's a class player. Uh, he's an international player, and um, yeah, whenever he plays for us, he, he certainly plays well because it means a lot to him, as it does the rest of the blokes. So uh, I thought he was outstanding. Not. Can you tell us a little bit about the players wanting Tessie to play and going to? Does it come to the coach and say let him play, or what actually happened there? Yeah, obviously with um, Atta, you know, you get a knock during the week. Um, and with us, you know, we need everyone to be 100% for, um, you know, for, uh, for them to take the field. I think us leadership, um, 
we, we trusted um, Tessie, you know, I think we, when Wolfie picks a 21-man squad, um, you know, we're all confident um, to the seven that takes the field, we will trust, we will support them. And I thought he was extremely well for the first, um, for the first international game and what Wolfie said, I think he's going to play a lot of NRL games. After the nines, a couple of the blokes were willing to pay for him to come over with us, so they're keen to have him, so. Really? Mm. Yeah. Oh, a couple of the leaders. <laughs> How does that work? So, <laughs> the, 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 there was only enough trouble for a certain number of players, and you wouldn't have come otherwise. Or, in the end, you would have anyway, wouldn't you? Or, yeah. No. Look, yeah. we we obviously brought him in as an extra person. Yeah. There, yeah. So that comes at our expense. Yeah. Right. As a coach, Christian, how does this one feel compared to the Kiwis? Because it's obviously a different style of win, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess it was a different style of win because I, I thought we were pretty dominant right from the start. Whereas against the Kiwis, we were chasing a little bit and. Um, yeah, nothing will ever replace the feeling after the, the Kiwis game because it was the first time ever and I guess at that stage we, we knew we had a, a really good side but you're a little bit unsure what you can actually do as a group and um, ever since then there's been a little bit more expectation and um, yeah, we certainly come into this game uh, not just hoping we could win but with some expectation and some thoughts that we certainly could win if we play to our potential and uh, that's what we're able to do. So um, certainly just as pre um, but yeah, a bit of a different feeling, I suppose. What's your expectation against Australia? Oh, look, I, I think we go there with a, uh, a real opportunity to be right in the contest and give ourselves a chance of winning the game. And regardless of what happened with injury, does Tessie keep the spot after that performance? That's a good question. I'll have to uh, have to see how everyone pulls up. And you know, we've got a couple of good blokes uh, to be considered next week. You've got Katani Staggs, who's a terrific player. Um, Tavita Pangai is available. Uh, Joe Offengau is available. Uh, Atahinano is available as well, so um, yeah, you know, we've got to get through tonight first and, and see what sort of bumps and bruises we take out of it, but whatever we throw out next week, we're going to be a strong side. Are there any serious concerns coming out of tonight? Uh, Manu Mo didn't finish the game, so I'd have to have a look what's going on with him, and uh, there's a couple of other blokes you know, that were down and, and with some ice on them at the end of the game, so uh, we just have to wait and see. What was Manu's injury? I'm not 100% sure, actually. Is it for me or Cyril? Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think that uh, we, we get you know, 50,000 Tongans there next week or whatever it holds. Um, you know, I think it certainly showed tonight what it means to these blokes. Um, and yeah, I've said before that this is a terrific group of men that everyone from Tonga should be really, really proud of and uh, what they do for the country and how they carry themselves and obviously how they represent the country when they play as well. So. Um, you know, the, the people who are calling for boycotts, I've been here for seven years and I've never seen them involved in footy. So they're not here to help, uh, they've obviously got some self-interest and uh, these people are the ones that everyone should be supporting. And see where after, you know, the players very much sticking together, you obviously respect each other as a group and you obviously enjoy playing for this guy next to you. Um, does it mean more this win perhaps? Uh, yeah, it means a lot. Um, just whenever I get the opportunity to put on this jersey, I'm coming to camp. Um, seeing more familiar faces, new faces, um, and just seeing boys that are willing to um, sacrifice a little, you know, sacrifice um, money just to come and represent our little nation, our family, our fans. Um, you know, seeing that uh, makes me, give, or gives me the reason to put on this jersey and run out together with them and go to war um, every year. So I'm um, really proud of them and um, yeah, looking forward for next week now. Make you feel old when an 18 year old comes in and has a debut like that? It kind of does. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Cool. Nice. Nice. Thank you. <laughs>